evening. Uh, we're excited to uh, get Christian here. Uh, big, big athletic uh, left tackle. Um, you know, he's he uh, moves really well in the zone blocking scheme. Has good power. Uh, we f felt like we needed uh, not not just athletic, but we needed uh, some more size with our offensive line. Does a nice job in, in protection. Um, so we're excited to get him. So questions. Um, Rick said maybe, maybe it was a little bit tight in the draft room after you traded 14, wondering if Christian would still be around at 23. How did you kind of feel about the possibility he might still be available at 23? I told him don't answer the phones anymore. But, uh, I mean, you know, we had several guys there that we liked, and, uh, you know, obviously that uh, Darisaw was a guy that uh, – we did a lot of homework on our coaches did a good job. Um, you know, Rick, the scouts, the coaches all did a really nice job of um, uh, evaluating him and also the other guys that we had up there. So, um, you know, once it got to like maybe 21 and we knew we had like three guys there that we liked that uh, we knew we were in good shape. Your left tackle, does that kind of give you a little bit more confidence knowing you're going to put him at left tackle? Like, I guess just having one of those spots set headed into all the offseason stuff? Yeah, he'll be he'll be uh, at left tackle, and but you know they, he's got to come in and compete and, and win the job just just like everybody else. So we'll be able to keep O'Neal at right and and go from there. Like regardless of first round, second round, whatever, was it important to get another instant starter on the offensive line out of this draft? Yeah, you know. Um, I hate to say instant starter, you, you know what I mean? These guys got to come in here and improve themselves just just like everybody else does. Uh, you know, hopefully that's what he is. Um, it was important for us to get some more size, like I said before, with our offensive line. Um, we felt like we needed some, some bigger guys in there as well. And, um, you know, and there was defensive guys we were looking at too. So it was just... Uh, you know, kind of the way it, it fell. I know Rick mentioned that, uh, you know, we, we we talked about him at 14, and then, you know, he ended up sticking around till 23. So, um, you know, some other guys went off the board that, uh, you know, that we kind of liked as well. With his experience, zone blocking, and also being a pretty good pass protector too, is this kind of the ideal fit for the offense? Yeah, um, you know, and, and, you know, there's some more guys still there that we're, we're we're looking at that we we like as we move forward here but um you know he's got really good strength he's a good kid he's he's a hard worker um you know and and really athletic get out in space you know do the things that we we like to do but i think um the addition of just not run blocking but being able to pass protect is uh is big as well Regardless of whether you pick 14 or 23 or whatever, how much of a priority was there to get an offensive lineman in the first round tonight? Uh, I don't know that there was a priority. It was, you know, find, find, uh, you know, the guy who we we thought would come in and fit the best. And, um, you know, there was obviously some defensive players there that we liked and um, receivers and other other positions. So, um, you know, just that's just the way it came out. Mike, was there anything that came up in, in your off-season off discussions that made you value size more this year? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, we felt like, um, you know, we, we, we feel like we're athletic, but, you know, there's, you know, you end up going up against some really big defensive linemen, you know, some, especially inside, you get so many of those big guys and, you know, like darisaw has got real long arms, so that helps him in, in pass protection against some of these, you know, uh, speed rushers. But yeah, I mean that was one of the things we talked about. I know it's hard to project, but with the amount of picks you have now in the third and fourth round, I mean that, that's that's a lot to work with. What kind of value do you see getting in, in those rounds in this year's draft? Yeah, well we don't have a two, so it may give us an opportunity to move back into the second round and, and do some things that way. Um, you know, and Rick loves to trade, so um, you know he he just likes to get keep you guys around all night. Time for two more. With this year's draft and kind of a lot of players opting out and whatnot, um, do you see a 
big difference from the talent level that would be in the second round compared to in the third round that would warrant some of those? Yeah, well, I, I do think that um, a lot of the players that were, were that were going to get it, get into the draft this year, they probably, a lot of them decided to stay. And so, you know, I feel like, um, I don't know what Rick told me, there's like 500 less players in the draft this year than, than uh, you know, previous year. So, you know, the the pool of players is, is a lot smaller. Good? All right. Thank you. All right.